guys. Welcome back to another week of the weekly forest forecast. Uh, last week, we talked about DSY in a range last week. And if we check the weekly time frame, you'll see that um, the DSY uh, bounce off this particular level, uh, despite the fact that we have a fake breakout before it uh, went ahead to create a new eye at 107.300 upward or 340 uh, at that resistance level right there. And it went back to retest this uh, demand level, which is a very strong support level at this particular area, as you can see. So we have so many rejection here, one, two, three, and this is a freak out and then creating a new eye. And here too, I'm surprised that um, the price bounced off this area too uh this year and if we go back to the four hour time frame last week uh i said that um the high probability of this ring is to break to the downside in which i was wrong and then uh that week uh i saw it breaking this particular range to the upside which means that uh the us dollar strength has come back to uh the market so here yeah, last week too we saw a rejection at this uh at this supply level right here which uh, create this uh this double top you see in the four hour time frame here as you can see we have a significant double top here which reject at the second top and then uh now the price is at the neckline now so what is the next thing we are looking at on the dsy uh for me i still believe the dsy should continue to go to the upside yeah unless we now see a break of this uh unless there is a break of this uh demand level to the upside so if this break to the downside uh rather if this break back to the downside then you can see market coming back to retest this particular low but if we continue to uh see a rejection at this area because um my projection is for markets to break this neckline of the double uh top and come back to retest this area and uh, reject uh to the upside that uh that particular area or if it break this uh this if it break this trend line then i should see a bounce at this uh demand level to the upside so these are the two things i'm looking at on the dsy after breaking this uh january consolidation so the consolidation uh since january 3rd and it got broken as january 24th so which actually met this uh this supply level and then got rejected so probably we should see price coming back to retest this area and then we'll see a push up and some analysts uh, analysts have been saying that uh they might have no room for it cut this year but it depends on fed to actually agree to that and based on the information they have and based on the economic activities to know maybe they are going to actually cut rates in the first quarter of this year or they will actually uh leave it unchanged or increase the interest to get so let's see how it goes but based on what is happening at the, in the economy right now so some big analysts analysts have been saying that if actually they cut rates in the first quarter of this year we might have a falling dollar and then a very useless uh, dollar this year so and you know fed might not want their currency to uh be useless so let's see how it goes and the the strong bet is still on the rate court this year so that one that i said is just from uh one of uh dp morgan's uh, analyst so which actually said that so let's see how uh, it will, but for now, what I'm seeing right here is basically uh, US dollar strength. But we might see a slowdown um, this next week, and then we might see a little bit of a weaker US dollar. But if we have a bounce or a bounce at this area, and if we test this area, and then we have a rejection, then the US dollar strength continue. But the moment it breaks this area back to the downside, which means that uh, it has broken these. Uh, uh, violate this trend line it means that uh, we should have us dollar weakness coming back to 
the market so actually that's what i'm looking at so we like to look at the individual currency but before we look at the individual currency from the uh, from go to pounds usd to euro usd to us dollar canadian dollar so first thing i want to let you know that um uh, make sure you click on like and then drop a comment in the comment section as this boosts the visibility of the video so that a lot of people can actually see the video and then and open because that's how youtube algorithm work it works uh, when you comment and then when you like the video so it will take the video uh, so that more viewers can actually see so thank you as you do that so you can just do that now so thank you so and another thing i want to show you is um let's go to the us dollar bot and you know i told you uh, last year that uh, this bot is very very effective so if you have uh opting into this bot so this is the demo account i am using to track the uh this thing and we have other people that have connected and they are withdrawing every week so if you want the proof of withdrawal you can actually con uh, message me on telegram so the link is in the description uh box so i can show you proofs of lots of withdrawal in which uh people are making from connecting to this bot so if you have connected to this bot since um last year let's see since last year august you will have make open a uh, month of 135 uh, percent in your account that you can see the gain is 135 percent and then as you can see 25 percent in august um 27 percent in august and then december it makes 11 uh percent and it's because uh the reason why it makes 11 and then uh for uh 11 percent on november and december because we did not increase the lot size this account i started from 5k account so the lot size we use in 5k account is the one that we are still using when the account gets to ten thousand dollars accounts now is at eleven thousand something dollars account so we are still using the same lot size probably we might just increase it uh by one so the lot size we are using you see the lot size here it's zero point uh 0 0.4 so i just i think i just increase it to 0 0.05 yeah so the loss i was using before here is 0 0.04 even in january we still use 0 0.04 but i guess i increased it uh last uh week before the market opened that's when i increased the lot size to 0 0.05 so you can still come in uh you can still come and then and connect your account so the no the minimum account you can connect is one thousand dollar don't forget the minimum account you can connect to this board is one thousand dollars account as you can see uh six percent this year january is not bad and if you have been in there uh, with this board since august you will have make one hundred and thirty five percent with your capital so that is that about uh the board so let's go to the fundamental uh of next week on tuesday we have the japanese monetary policy statements coming out from bank of uh, japan as you can see i think that's what we have on tuesday but it's the right tentative tentative mean uh they might shift it and then they might actually so we don't actually know maybe uh they were actually postponed it so let's see how it goes on wednesday we have the euro manufacturing pmi service pmi and the pound service uh and manufacturing PMI. Later that day, we have the Canadian Monetary Policy Statement Report, which uh, the they are proposing to hold their interest rates, which is before 5.0, and then they want to hold it at 5.0. So let's say it goes with them, they might actually increase it or cut or hold their interest rate. Later, the same day, the same time, we have the US dollar flux manufacturing PMI and service pmi that is on wednesday on thursday we have the euro uh monetary policy statement and then let's see maybe they may actually hold the interest rate as the uh right here so the same day on thursday at 2 30 pm nigerian time we have the advanced gdp coming out of the us dollar so i think we have some uh high impact news line up uh, next week which might actually move the market 
uh, in terms of in DPY and Euro and Canadian dollar and US dollar. So these are the pairs you should look at next week for a potential buying or selling opportunity with volatility. So that is that about the fundamental. So let's go to the individual currency and see what my outlook will be this week. So the first thing I want to check out here is gold. And if you if you look at gold, let's go back to the monthly time frame. Um, I think we have a shift in sentiment on gold right now. So and the reason why I say that is if you check this place, create a new eye, then coming back to a, uh, put a big sell off. Yeah, creates a new low at this particular area. Still creates a new eye. Yeah, and then uh sell off at this particular area we have a i a yeah, sell off at this particular area. yeah it creates a very all-time high at this particular area and then probably we might have a sell off too before maybe we'll see another new i at that area so do let us uh, predict now so we need to react to what is happening right now so if you check um what is happening here in the weekly time frame uh you'll see that uh this place might actually uh has a strong uh, support level but if you go to the uh daily time frame you'll see another thing there that okay there is a violation of this uh trend line at this particular area and it's breakout of the uh uptrend as you can see so the trend line got violated at this particular area probably if it's going to be respected i believe this candle right here should close bullish at this particular area and we continue to maintain the bullish uh, sentiment but now we have a break of this trend line which has been violated which means that sellers are around the corner at this particular area and if you actually check the friday candle close it closes as a reversal pattern if you strike this is a armor candlestick which um signifies a reversal at this particular level so what are we looking at right there if you check the four hour time frame you see that um this particular because last week uh what i noticed now last week is that you know i told us last week that um good might do uh might sell last week you understand that we might actually see good falling last week because when I actually mark this level, you can actually check the weekly forest focus we did last week. So I actually mark this level as a level of a strong resistance level. And we took ourselves from here, in which we take our profit at this particular level. You understand uh, last week. So it's a massive sell-off. So then the reason why I took that sell is because after this I form and then it went I to test it did not create a new I here, which means that our sellers have actually stepped in here and then they actually drag the price to form a new low at this area. So what's the next step for us to look at on gold? So what I'm actually look at uh looking at here is for price to actually come back to this area and they got rejected back to the downside. So um uh my sentiment of good is to the downside unless we have a break of this uh of this particular level right here unless markets uh, price come back and break this level to the upside so that's when my buyers will tend to uh to buy buyers but if price still below this area then my buyers is still a a bearish buyer because you might just see consolidation here and then price come back and then break that particular low so that's what i'm looking at because uh, uh price has violated this uh this trend line and then it has created a new low at this uh particular area. so but probably it might actually be a liquidity to actually um uh to rip off those uh those buyers that put their stop loss below this particular area so that's why i'm saying that if it actually break above this level then we might look for a buy bias from here this is where i'm looking at to above this level i'm looking at to take my buy bias but if it actually rejects here and as we see in the daily time frame it forms a basa candlestick so you might actually come back and then and get back to the downside and in this scenario we actually um 
say the other time that okay after a new eye we have a massive sell-off close a new eye then i believe probably you should see a massive sell-off at least to this particular area or to 1950 so let's see uh, how this level goes and i'll be updating uh the telegram group so if you are not in the telegram group yet click on the link in the description uh post and join the telegram channel so that you can uh, receive the updates when i started dropping it so uh my strong bias is to the downside because uh if you check this area too there is a level of uh, supply at this particular area so which price might actually uh rejects here because as you can see this is a very strong rejection candle in the four hour time frame and then this might actually drags the price back to the downside so taking on WPUSD, uh my strong bias on WPUSD is to the upside and one of the reason is that uh we didn't actually price didn't actually create a new low at this area so we have an equal low at this area which we have a rejection from and then if you check the overall uh, sentiment you see that the market is to the upside even though we have violated this uh this particular trend line right here but if you check on friday market close above this particular level which makes me have a strong buy bias and as we saw in dsy earlier so we saw that uh, dsm actually sell for some times before we can see a buy uh bias so let's see how this one goes but on monday like on monday after the four hour close if the four hours close above this level again i'll be looking to take my buy at this particular level if markets close above it and then you know put my take profit at that level then my stop loss at this low right here so not this low but this particular low right here so which i may actually put my stop loss there because market can actually uh, do something like this then you understand so but if it actually break uh this low and then break this one it means that uh markets might actually come back to to sell at that area but where i'm actually looking for a self setup is if this particular level break to the downside that is where i'll be looking to take my sell bias to this level then probably to the next low right there so let's see how market reacts to 1.26891 this is where i will be taking my buy bias above this level i'll be taking my buy bias unless market breakout but if market is in this is in this range may not actually take any uh setup there so because that place is a very critical area so it can break down and it can also break back to the upside so let's see how market reacts to it on euro usd2 i'm having a, a, a i'm having the same bias but seeing that we have uh the, the trail line violated at this particular area is something that it's cause for concern but right here what i'm actually looking at is for price if we have a rejection from here then i will actually be looking for a sell setup but if this level break to the upside this particular level right here if it break to the upside then i'm looking for a buy buys back to this eye and the first year and then back to that particular area as you can see so this is my safe zone area for price to actually uh, violate this line i'd say if price violates it then i'm looking for a buy setup but if you have a rejection here around this area which might actually be uh uh something that may happen so i'm looking for a sell setup that will break this particular look right there so uh watch our price react to that on monday and then on tuesday so on us dollar canadian dollar uh price come back here rejects and then come back to this uh, to meet this supply uh zone and then got rejected and i think it, it, it's violating this particular trend line at this area which is a channel so we actually see a breakout here so depending on what happened on monday if this breakout sustain then we might actually be looking for a self setup and then back to this particular area of uh 
of support level so this is what i'm looking at on uh on canadian dollar and uh, us dollar canadian dollar and we have uh so many uh news on uh us dollar and canadian dollar so we expect volatility on this pair next week so if the monday candle closes uh bearish then i will join the sellers to actually drag the price back to the uh 1.317 uh something like that so as you can see that's what i'm looking at on the us dollar canadian dollar on the u a u d u s dollar if you check the weekly time frame you see something that um there's already a vow a violation of this trend line to the upside which didn't create a new eye at this area and then your markets reject here yeah, coming back to this uh, particular area so checking the daily time frame you see that price reject at the demand level the daily demand level right here yeah. so price reject so what i'm actually looking at is for price to eject and then go back to retest this particular eye that that might happen for a couple of days or week so that's what i'm looking about if price now come back and then uh breach this low right here, this demand level right there then you should be looking for a sell setup back to 0 0.6426 that is what you should be looking at if price break this uh this demand level but for me i believe this will be uh respected and then we should see a uh, some consolidation and the breakout then uh price continue to push up back to the eye of 0 0.6850 for so quick reminder don't forget to click on like and then comment so that uh it can boost the visibility of the uh video so i i wish to uh draw my own view on uh, us dollar swiss franc but i want to see how market react to this so i might actually drop it as a uh, as charts on probably tuesday or on monday uh after the monday candle close so i'm still looking at how the price reacts to this particular area right there so let's shift to another pair which is a us dollar uh jpy so if you actually see uh the us dollar jpy you see that uh we are in an uptrend right here coupled with this uh with this trend line which were respected at this uh level and then if you uh zoom it properly you will see that uh we have a strong level of uh of supply right here which price reject at first uh reject at second but couldn't sustain it and then we have a breakout of that level and then right here this is a very strong resistance level we don't want to joke with at this one for eight three three zero so if you put actually put um uh the four hour time frame you see that um we have some range at this particular area. and this range is even more difficult than uh than uh what we are seeing because uh when market start to range in a resistant level expect a breakout that is one of the rules should uh write down so when you start seeing a range at a resistant level you should expect a breakout but for now what i'm actually looking at is for price to come back and then retest this uh this uh, broken supply level and then probably reject at this trend line then continue to move to the upside so let's see how price reacts to this area uh to this area and then to this uh particular area so i'm taking my buy bias from one four six two four two but if it did break out without um coming back here then i will be looking for a retest at this level to take my buy bias back to one five one eight zero uh five so that is what i'm looking at on us dollar tpy so using the fibonacci retracement like if you want to use the few retracement on the uh weekly time frame you see that uh let's use the few retracement here mm -hmm. You see that um the trend line area is at 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level 
which actually goes in line with this uh this uh, uh supply which might actually come back to uh be a demand at this area then we we'll have what we call a a breakout at that particular area so let's see how it actually goes there so i'm looking for a buy setup but from this particular area that's when i'll be picking my buys, uh, bias back to one eight one it's one five one eight zero five that is on us dollar japanese uh yen so on susfang uh jpy what i'm looking at on as you can see i'm using a one hour time frame right here and as you can see market keeps uh uh rejecting at this trend line even though we have a fake breakout yeah it's still breaking back then it reject it it reject it and this is actually a rejection and if you want to trade a trend line like this you don't put your stop loss at this particular line because price might come to violate your stop loss and continue to move back so you place your stop loss at the uh at the, at the low of this particular area that's why you see that stop line if price now comes here it means that uh, uh we should be looking for a sell setup at that particular area. so at the market open what i want to do is to buy switch fan JPY and then uh should see this validated and create a new eye. So let's see how it goes, let's see how price reacts to that particular level. So this is what I'm looking at to do on at market open on Monday. So maybe probably after the four hour candle close, I will look for my entry right there. On um AUD is from uh, if you see what is happening right here, you see that um, this level has been broken to the upside, and then uh, this is a pattern on so by which price might actually come here, retest it, and then you see a move back to this particular uh, supply level at 0 0.58435. Uh, so I'm actually looking for a bullish setup on the UD switch franc but if we have if markets now come back and then we have a break of this uh of this level then there's when i'll be looking for a sell setup but if markets still have uh one point um 0 0.568 so i'm looking for a price setup back to this uh particular resistance level from there so on euro aud here to what i'm actually looking for here is is for price to come back to this uh to this level of uh of support which actually go with the uh trend line and then we have a rejection from there back to 1.67979 so this place is my safe zone 1.64544 in AUD, if price go below this area i won't be interested in buying you understand so i'll look for a close below then i'll look for a sell opportunity but if my guest stays above it then i'll be looking for a buy bias at this particular level back to 1.67 seven or nine seven nine that is where my tp will be and on canadian dollar dpy i'm expecting market to slow down for a while before it continues the buy setup as you can see using the fibonacci retracement on the weekly time frame and we have rate statements from the japanese yen and we have so many uh uh with some fundamental to in the canadian dollar so expect more volatility on this pair uh this coming week so what i'm actually looking at at uh, this area is for price to i will see how, mo how monday candle will close at this particular area so i'm actually looking for market to step down and then we should see a buy setup from this particular area. if market uh retreats back to this area then i'll be taking my buy at the 50 percent if we have retracement level and then probably target the new i at that particular area so probably i'm actually doing this sell if i see how monday can be closed if the monday can be closed is bearish and i'm actually joining this sell back to this uh particular low right there so that's what i'm looking at using the fibonacci retracement level looking for price to slow down and then probably retrace back to the 50 percent before we see the uh buyers coming back to the market on the last one which is uh the pounds tpy so i'm looking um 
for the same thing here uh, this is four hour time frame as you can see so you have a new eye created here and then new eye so probably you see price coming back to retest this particular level break this low come back to retest this and then we'll see a new eye uh forming at that particular area that is our on pounds uh jpy so guys this is what i'm looking at this is the weekly forest forecast so don't forget to uh comment your opinion in the uh comment section and don't forget to like subscribe and then and share so if you are just new to this channel this is samba fs i bring you this forest forecast every week and then uh don't forget to join our community and uh there is a link in the description box. so if you have any question my twitter page link or twitter and link is in the description box where you can message me and then let's know where you have a problem i offer mentorship too if you need a mentor you can actually dm me and let's talk about it so guys um don't forget to trade safely don't forget to use your protective uh stop loss and then we still have a lot of uh, content to dish out on this youtube channel so stay tuned guys and have a profitable trading week ahead